Hey everybody, it's Lori Brock with me again. <clears throat> We're here to talk about um, salt and um, are salt blocks enough? So, um, so I did some more research. And I'm going to get in my book. Oh, some people have it, some people don't. <clears throat> Force fed salt. Salt is a natural state essential for all. all Optimum health in humans and animals. Never force feed salt to your horse. Too much salt is bad news for your horse. You must read the labels because most feed companies put a lot of salt in their feed labels, and that's why your horse looks plump. And the industrial refining process, as many as 82 trace minerals, essential micronutrients, are forcibly removed, leaving only the single compound of sodium chloride. Okay, refine white, white salt. It is biologically changing and completely unnatural and a chemicalized uh, substance. Refinery salt may legally receive up to 2% chemical additives, such as bleaches, uh, anti-caking agents, conditioners. I can't read that word. Yellow. That doesn't look like good stuff. <laughs> uh, Try calcium phosphate, calcium aluminum. Doesn't they're all anti-caking agents? But I, I've done my research, and some of them have gotten away from that. But you have to read your labels. Uh, <clears throat> Redmond salt is the best salt, and um, but the horse is constantly licking it. It can cause TMJ in the temporomandibular joint disorder in your horse that may affect his ability to chew and digest food and affects the uh, body's balance and biomechanics. Some say that um, some can be glued together and this article could be gone. I don't know. I'm not going to click there. So a lot of times the horse will break the salt block up, biting into it and stomping it because they're grinders. And <clears throat> um. It's just if they keep on licking and licking and licking, they um, are really not getting the salt. I mean, though they say it to digest in the saliva, they don't get enough of it if they get forced, if they're um, free to waste it. So, um, so anyways, um, where does it say that cows have a tongue? So, um, Anyways, it's supposed to be cows have a tongue somewhere. <laughs> but anyways, you don't want to do that. So this one here is an article from Dr. K. Horsens. And <clears throat> can horses meet the salt needs in a salt block? In a way, it's a trick question. There's more enough salt to meet the horse's needs. The real question is, can it consume it all in the block? A widespread myth is that horses cannot get enough salt from the lick because cows can because their tongues are rougher. I didn't know this. A cow's tongue is rougher like a cat, but not rough or sharp enough to slice off salt off the block. <clears throat> cows and horses both get salt block from dissolving it and sliving, same as licking uh, a lollipop. So... The sodium is consistent with the low levels of natural diet drives. The drive to eat enough salt comes from the brain. Salt hunger increases as the level goes. Both horses and cows prefer loose coarse salt over salt blocks, but are able to meet their needs um, <clears throat> with a block by licking it to death and then causing TMJ. So, um... This is a one of the ingredients of the salt block. So it's an inner inorganic something that says, yeah, inorganic compounds because it's um so it's <clears throat> so it's inorganic. So um and they add that. And then the new ingredient on salt oh I put it here. Hold on. So this is also in one of the um ingredients in one of the salt blocks that I picked up, and it was this one that I picked up, uh, Champion Trace Mineral Salt, 50 pounds, okay? So, <clears throat> show you here. Uh, they use this coloring concrete mortar. It's a good 
and good tightening strength. So this is how they keep it together. So that's used in tiles, stamped concrete, and stuff like that. So it is true that <laughs> you could be giving your horse, um, uh, you could be giving your horse some kind of glue additive. But that one doesn't look so bad as the other stuff. <clears throat> so this is the uh, Kentucky research on the nitty gritty on salt. Um, natural feeding such as pasture grasses has little sodium in it, but horses don't really, they're not sodium people, horse um, animals. Horses are often offered free choice sodium chloride as plain as trace mineral salt. The most popular feed at Liberant is a salt block. They are originally designed for cattle because they possess a rough tongue but are suitable for most horses. Occasionally a horse may be seen biting on it. And, and the reason why they're biting on it is because they can't get it with their, their tongues are smooth. Okay. So, um, let's see. Okay. Do, do horses prefer loose salt block, so loose salt or block salt? A study conducted in Kentucky uh, Equines Research measured the voluntary intake of loose versus salt over time and evaluated how salt intake affects the water consumption. Results of the trial indicated that the salt intake was more consistent week from week when, off, when horses were offered a block, though total consumption from the loose form salt was greater. Water consumption was significantly increased when the horses were given excess to loose salt. Okay, and there you have it. So um, you don't wanna buy my book, you can do the research yourself. Um, I feed my horses loose salt all the time. I offer it to them. If they don't eat it, it doesn't mean they don't like it. It just means that they don't need it at the time because it might be in your grain, it might be in your hay. They might be getting it from the dirt, you don't know. So I just offer it to them free choice, um, usually once a week. And, and that's it. If it sits there for a week or two, it does. It's no big deal. I don't do salt blocks because of the TMJ. And I can go ahead and check that, and I'll do a video on that later. So subscribe to my channel, and please share it and leave a comment if you want. Thank you.